Pig the Pug by Aaron Blady. Pig was a pug, and I'm sorry to say, he was greedy and selfish in most every way. He lived in a flat with a sausage dog, Trevor. But when was he nice to him? I'll tell you, never. You've got some nice toys there, poor Trevor would say. But Pig would just grumble, they're mine, go away. But it might be more fun, said Trevor to Pig, if we both play together. Well, Pig flipped his wig. No, they are mine. Are you deaf? Only mine. You keep your paws off them, you sausage-shaped swine. I know what your game is. You want me to share, but I'll never do that. I won't and I swear. And with that, he proceeded to gather his stuff and make a big pile with a huff and a puff. And once he had gathered them up in a pile, he howled from the top with a satisfied smile. There, shouted Pig. Now you won't get my loot. It's mine, 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 mine. So why don't you scoot? But just at that moment, poor Trevor did see the pile was wobbling. Oh dear me. Watch out up there! Good Trevor did cry. But the shame of it was, well, pigs cannot fly. These days it's different. I'm happy to say. It's so very different in most every way. Yes, Pig shares his toys now and Trevor's his friend and they both play together while Pig's on the mend. Pig the Star by Aaron Blaby. Pig was a pug and I'm sorry to say he just loved attention. He'd show off all day. He'd shout, look at me, I'm the best, I'm a star. But then came the day that he took it too far. Yes, Trevor and Pig had a big photo shoot. They wore little costumes, they looked really cute. Isn't this fun? Giggled Trevor with glee. But Pig pushed right past him and yelled, look at me! Aren't I just fabulous? Aren't I divine? Now back off, Salami. These costumes are mine. Yes, Pig ruled the photos. He hogged every shot. He whispered to Trevor, I'm hot, you're not. And under the lights, as the cameras went snap, Pig felt like a rock star and started to rap. Yo, I'm a star, yo. Yeah, dog, I'm the best. Now get me a donut, you sausage-shaped pest. But then something happened that changed the whole shoot. The man with the camera said, That dog is cute. Wow, Trevor's a star, the photographer said. Pig couldn't believe it. And then he saw red. He shrieked, I'm the star! And he knocked Trevor flat. But Trev bumped his rocket, and the rocket went splat. These days it's different, I'm happy to say. Pig's dreadful antics have all gone away. He's not such a show off, he's not such a swine. And though a bow it annoys him, he lets Trevor shine. Pig the Winner by Aaron Blaby. Pig was a pug, and I'm sorry to say, if he didn't come first, it would ruin his day. Yes, Pig was a winner. He just had to win, and nothing would stop him. Oh, where to begin? Believe it or not, he was quite hard to beat, and the reason was simple. Yes, Pig 
was a cheat. But if he did lose, he'd throw a pink fit. He'd scream and he'd cry and he just wouldn't quit. He'd sob and he'd sook with a quivering chin. Till you gave up and said to him, okay, you win. But as soon as you said it, he'd clap and he'd stamp and he'd rub it in loudly that he was the champ. Trevor would say to him, let's just have fun. But Pig would reply, it ain't fun till I've won. So one night at supper, Pig shouted with glee, who can eat faster? I bet that it's me, Trevor said shyly. I don't want to race. But Pig had yelled, go, and was stuffing his face. He wolfed down his dog food. He gobbled his kibble. His face was awash with biscuits and dribble. He chomped up three sausages, all of them whoppers. Then he munched through his doggy treats, gnashing his choppers. He swallowed it all in a minute or less. But something went wrong. Do you know? Can you guess? Because he was busy stuffing his hole, Pig didn't notice. It swallowed his bowl. Lucky for Pig, Trevor knew what to do. He squeezed out that bowl before Pig could turn blue. But Pig didn't thank him. He just said, I win. Then the bowl bounced right back and knocked Pig in the bin. These days it's different. I'm happy to say, Pig's not the winner each time that they play. He plays to have fun and his tantrums have ceased. Yes, Trevor can win now. Well, sometimes, at least. Pig the Rebel by Aaron Blaby. Pig was a pug and I'm sorry to say, after years of his antics, it was now time to pay. Yes, Pig was condemned to a fate oh so cruel. It was time for the dreaded obedient school. The no-nonsense trainer looked Pig up and down. I hear you've been naughty, she said with a frown. She listed his crimes, each wretched endeavor. Pig pleaded innocence. What? Who? Me? Never. Hush, said the trainer. Her manner was gruff. Once you're done here, you'll behave soon enough. His class was a mixture of various mutts. They all had their issues. Some hyper, some nuts. A gallery of rogues. A real motley crew. What are you in for? I'm bonkers. And you? Class! roared the trainer. You will now learn to sit. Something in Pig snapped. He bellowed. That's it! No school can contain me! Let's bust out of here! His classmates were stunned, but they gave a great cheer. Follow me, friends! shouted Pig to his posse. Let's split from this joint and that trainer who's bossy. He mounted his steed. They galloped a pace, but his steed lost its footing and fell on its face. Pig found his feet though, with startling ferocity. He hurtled downhill at amazing velocity. He took out a cake stall. Oh, how those cakes flew. He took out the hot dog guy's new barbecue. His escape was triumph. It really was, yep. But wait, hang on, what's this? Hey, watch that last step. The gas tank went boom. The sky filled with fur. It looked like the end. Oh, it sure did. Yes, sir. What happened next? Oh, how ends the book? Do you dare turn the page, friends? Do you dare look? Who could survive an explosion that big? Well, one slightly barbecued, pot-bellied pig. These days it's different. 
I'm happy to say you've heard this before, but hey, anyway, his fur all grew back. He did not need a wig, and somehow that blast blew some sense into Pig. It sparked a new wisdom, a new way of living, devoting his future to sharing and giving. I know what you're thinking. He's fallen, you kid. He'll never change. But guess what? He did. Pig the Fibber by Aaron Blaby. Pig was a pug, and I'm sorry to say he would often tell lies just to get his own way. And when he would fib, he was awfully clever. When Pig got in trouble, he would always blame Trevor. You see, he would mess up the living room mat. And then he'd just point and say, Trevor did that. Or he'd shatter a beautiful vase full of flowers. And then he'd say, Trevor's been crazy for hours. He once even ripped up a lovely old dress. Then he hid behind Trevor and made him confess. Why do you do this? Asked poor little Trevor. I thought we were friends. But Pig said, whatever. Then came the day of Pig's sneakiest plan. He said, I will steal all the treats that I can. They keep them up there in the closet up high. But before I can get them, I need a good lie. And with that, he blew off. It was stinky and grim. Then he pointed at Trevor and said, it was him. So Trevor was taken outside for some air. This was Pig's chance and he climbed on a chair. Those treats will be mine and I'll gobble them all. But behind all those treats was an old bowling ball. These days it's different. I'm happy to say Pig has stopped lying. Hip hip, hooray. He may have some bruises and one less front tooth, but he sure learned his lesson. And that is the truth. Pig the Monster by Aaron Blaby. No trick or treaters. Please don't knock. Pig was a pug, and I'm sorry to say, on Halloween night, he'd get carried away. Hungrily drooling, he'd lurch through the streets. A monstrous rampage for treats, 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 treats. Treats, he would bellow. It's Frankenstein's pup. He'd grab a whole basket and snaffle it up. Treats! He would drool a zombified bumpkin. And if you resisted, he'd upturn your pumpkin. Yes, if you were stingy, well, Pig would be miffed. And then he'd be vengeful. And vengeance was swift. He'd egg your front door. An egg hurling dragon then set about fixing your little red wagon. If Pig felt shortchanged and his hopes had been dented, it filled him with feelings that had to be vented. Terrible tricks would be briskly invented. Shenanigans like this could not be prevented. He ruined the evenings of those he tormented. The scale of his payback was unprecedented. He got satisfaction, he never relented. Your treats will be mine, he cried wholly demented. Wild in his triumph, the mummy unhinged. He laid out his plunder and frantically binged. Tearing through candy, a glutinous goblin. He just didn't think about what he was goblin. 
Dogs can't eat chocolate, cried someone quite clever. Dogs choke on chocolate. He's no fool, that Trevor. Pig spluttered foully. Ah, Weena, don't nag. Then breathed in that chocolate and started to gag. Quick thinking Trevor, that wonderful hound. He snatched up Pig's ankles and swung him around. With a whoosh and a whirl, he windmilled that lug. A fast spinning dachshund, a chocolate filled pug. And soon enough, all that sugary gloop was loosened up nicely, a warm chocolate soup. Watch out! cried Trev, but the crowd was dumbstruck as gallons of Halloween goo came unstuck. These days it's different, I'm happy to say. Pig's Halloween harvest, a modest buffet. He respects people's homes and he shares out his booty. His generous spirit, a real thing of beauty. He really is nicer and much kinder too. An old dog learned new tricks. Well, who'd have thought? Boo! Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.